Hey guys, Tom Mobile back again. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Galaxy Z Fold 4. This is the moment we all been waiting for. Here's the front of the box. Side, back, other side. Nothing too crazy here. Alright, let's jump right into it. Okay, there it is. So I got the bluish gray looking color. Put this down for a second. Nothing else at the bottom here. See what else they're including these days. This phone costs 1800 bucks, so it's definitely expensive. Though the benefit of pre ordering early, you do get some of the great trade in deals. Still get the USB C cable, they haven't taken that away yet. Sim ejector, quick start guide. That's pretty much it. But it's a uh, Good looking phone, very sleek. Okay, here it is. Got the little flap here. Peel that off. And voila. So got the crease in the middle, as you can see. Fold it up, got some nice good weight. It actually does feel a little bit lighter than last year, which is a good thing. And actually, I don't think a lot of people pointed this out, but it feels, I think they curved the edges a little bit more. I remember when I was holding the Z Fold 3, it was super sharp and it hurts. But now they did curve the edges here, so it feels very comfortable in the hand. From my first impression, here it is on the side. Volume rocker, power button, very easy and reachable. Nice placements there. On the bottom, got USB C, the speaker grill. I mean, if you look through the gap, you can still see the hole there. So if you're looking for flaws, you will definitely find it. Triple camera setup, flash, open this up again. Very satisfying big screen. Oh, they actually went with the, you can see the, uh, the whole punch camera. Let me boot it up. There it is. You even see the backside turn on, that's pretty cool. All right, I'll go ahead and set this up. Start, agree to the terms and condition. Connect to the Wi-Fi. And I will be back shortly. Okay, now we'll set this up. I did plop my sim in here so that it was set up properly. Holding it in one hand is actually very comfortable. I think they made the screen just a little bit wider compared to last year so it's less awkward. Copy the data, use from my old device. But yeah, this feels very satisfying to hold. It's transferring from an Android phone. Let's do the cable option. Got my handy dandy double USB-C cable. Here's my Galaxy Z Flip 4. Gonna be transferring all the data over to the Z Fold 4. I was actually doing the initial unboxing on the Galaxy Z Flip 4 camera. But then I needed to take the SIM card out and everything. Okay, we'll leave that there. See how long it'll take to transfer. 
And while they are doing that, we can unbox this standing cover with the S Pen. I am a little conflicted with this. I know with an $1,800 phone, you should probably slap a case on it in case you drop the phone. But for me, when I held the Galaxy Z Fold 4, it actually feels very nice in the hand. So it will be a little bit disappointing to slap a case on it. But at the same time, if I ever drop the phone, I will be glad that I did have the case. But we'll see. This case does have an S Pen, so that's pretty cool. I wish to find a way to build the pen into the Z Fold 4. That will make it even more convenient. But I do understand the limitation with the space and everything. This is the book. This case actually came for free because I did pre-order the phone. Usually when you pre-order, it does come a little bit earlier. This time around, it actually came, I think it was projected to come around the 28th, but today is the 29th. But then the 28th was a Sunday. Okay. It's an interesting looking case. More of like a bumper, I guess. I was expecting something else. All right, here's the S Pen. Pretty big, feels like a standard pencil. This is just the extra tip for the pen. You gotta use a specific Galaxy Z Fold pen for the Z Fold phone. In case you did not know by now, can't just take any old Galaxy Note phones and use the stylus and start scribbling it on here because you're gonna damage the screen. Just a friendly reminder. I mean, realistically, it seems like it would make sense, but there are hardware limitations to everything, my friends. Okay. Gonna transfer everything over, nine gigs of data. Transfer my account, sure. Let me unlock it. Give it a few minutes while I was doing that. Okay. Now you can watch me struggle in lifetime put this bumper on. All right, that's the front of the bumper. Here's the back of the bumper. Looks pretty straightforward. Slap it in. Oh, silly me. There's a little thing there, so you gotta unplug it, but I'll wait till it finishes transferring before I put that on, I guess. Okay, since it's restarting, I'll take this opportunity to slap in the case properly. So we just snap that in. Everything's protected. This is the pen. All right, let's figure this out. Never thought I would need an instruction booklet for a phone case, but here we are. Pretty intensive booklet to say the least. Okay. A, basically remove all that, put that together. That's a kickstand. Tells you what to do and what not to do. Oh, I guess I can remove the kickstand and put in the pen instead. Lifting that up. Attempting, oh, there it is. Jesus Christ. Slide it out. And you slide this bad boy in. Now I have officially 
sacrifice my kickstand for an S pen holder. Alrighty. All that work just to get the S pen. Now it kind of feels awkward when I'm holding it because there's a bump in the back. Alright my friends, we are ready to go. So by default, the always on display is actually off to say battery. So you have to tap to see the always on display. Which is kind of dumb, I might as well double tap and to see that. So let's address that. I know it's going to waste more battery. Show always. But it's not even that much more. And here's the new software update at the bottom. They got these little icon which makes it very convenient. Switch it as you need. Text. Chrome. Notebook. Actually, I usually don't really use the notebook. But now that I have an S Pen, I might use it, I guess. So you pull up the bottom. You still get these guys as your recently used app. This case does kind of get in the way of the fingerprint sensor. Now there's like a little bump there. I mean, it'll still work, but it's just a little awkward. The bumper definitely put a good amount of weight on this phone. Open this back up. So you can actually customize this screen however you want. And you can also customize the smaller screen however you want, which is cool. Oh, let me test out the S Pen real quick. So, now we want to close the phone. Pull it out. Unlock it. It's definitely an adjustment. So, I click on the notes, individual pages, and start with that for now. Don't want to go too crazy. Just gonna keep hitting next. Okay. Hi. Hmm. Feels pretty smooth to write with. I am not very artistic, so I wouldn't be able to do much. And even though there's this crease in the middle, it is not very impacted when you're drawing, which is nice. So now that I do have the S Pen, I may or may not use it, depending on if I'm ever thinking about it. But for now, I'll keep it on. All right. Definitely very excited to use this phone. Gonna give you guys my full review after using it for a few weeks. Let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to cover. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you guys next time.